The judge in the federal consent decree case praised Richard Worley. The acting commissioner has been part of the efforts to reform the Baltimore Police Department under former commissioner Michael Harrison. But Judge James Bredar raised concerns about what he called an explosion of violence. He said Baltimore police were surprised by July's mass shooting in Brooklyn. Two people died and 28 others were injured. He said it points to shortcomings in communication and community engagement, with officers staying in cars rather than on foot patrol. And the staffing crisis. Right now, Baltimore has 2,062 sworn officers. The judge wants to review BPD's Brooklyn Park after action report. The report should be coming out, I'm not sure, sure exactly when, but sometime in the very near future. Um, and yeah, I already, when, when we had the initial meeting, I said we, we could have done better and, and we could have, and we'll, we'll stick to that. The report will pretty much show some of the things that we could have done better. Worley said if approved for the commissioner's job, he will make some changes. I can't get into it right now because not everybody within knows exactly what we're doing yet because I haven't revealed it to them, but it's going to be just switching a few people in different seats um, to change things up and to give our district commanders a little more time to concentrate on community policing. He says building officer morale and dealing with the daily shifts officers work will help. The only way we're going to get the community policing plan and implement it is for all of our officers to be engaged and to do that you have to free up the time to allow them to do that and give them 40 percent of their time through more foot patrol and other informal um, communication with the with the citizens other major concerns from the judge data showing what is and isn't working along with recruiting new officers the department says it is moving toward adjusting its incentives program raising the signing bonus from $5,000 to $10,000. We're going to try to recruit, recruit some officers who have left over the last couple years by offering them an incentive to come back. And BPD says with the help of a grant, it is increasing its advertising budget for recruitment from $1 million to $2 million. Reporting live from downtown Baltimore, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV 11 News.